What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Wednesday hump day, October 30th, 2024, and we are in Arvern, New York. Arvern is on the Rockaway Peninsula, separating the main part of Queens, which is on Long Island. And uh, it's like a peninsula, you know, it's connected to land, but it's surrounded by water on three sides. We have a new customer here, homeowner. She's been living here for a few years. Her Lars Endurance Boiler, well, let's just say, if you don't take care of your car and expect to drive it indefinitely, eventually it's gonna die on you. And that's exactly what happened here. We're gonna take out that Lars Endurance Boiler. It's a combi boiler, not condensing. And we're gonna put in the Whale McLean Ecotech Wall Hung 110 condensing combi this is the first whale mclean ecotech the 110 that we're doing but i think it's perfectly sized for the home she only got about 40 feet of baseboard and she got one bathroom so this is the smallest they make i think we'll be good now if i could just find parking because that really sucks three days later all right ladies and gentlemen we got a stackable washer and dryer here here's that lars endurance boiler it's power vented, it goes directly outside. It's non-condensing using that stainless steel B vent. Uh, this is concentric venting, so it's pipe within a pipe. The outer pipe that's inside there sucks in the air, combustion air, and the inner pipe discharges it out. We got one zone, half inch. There's a supply, that's the return. This is our gas, that is our domestic cold water and there's our domestic hot i traced out the piping and we have it isolated here this three quarter inch ball valve which went to that line which originated there we have an inch and a quarter water main coming into the building to the meter and then it goes next door not too shabby the washer and dryer there's a washing machine box there. The goal is to put the Ecotech on that wall. We may do it on this wall, but we'll see how it pans out. But ideally, I like to put it on that wall. That way you walk in here, you can walk, work right in front of it, not there, and you gotta fight with the washer and dryer. All right, so I am sitting on top of the washing machine. The dryer's outside. We have the water off to the building. Um, Daniel's draining into this floor drain. Oh, let's, uh, I don't know, do I want to take this out of the way? Or maybe he'll take this out later. It's the dryer vent for the dryer. We'll see once this beast is out of the way if we're going to take out the location and relocate it here. So. Once we take this out, we'll figure it out, but we have half inch supply, three quarter domestic water. Shouldn't be too shabby here. seen better days all right unit is gone we made that outlet go away I was worried about this being daisy chained to this receptacle but it's not it's just line and neutral we're gonna put a wall plate there we're gonna put the unit right here in the wall Here's our incoming line voltage to the old boiler. This is going to feed the new one. Here's our TT. We have domestic cold, domestic hot, supply, and return. I'm going to put the unit on the wall right here. Hopefully we get lucky with some studs. And then uh, we'll put a concentric vent kit in there. And uh, easy peasy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 9.30. It's only one man job. Daniel's manning the phone. <sighs> oh, 
All right, we got it on the wall. We have a two by four metal studded wall. Literally, I could push against the wall and you could see it move. So I threw in another screw drilling through the, uh, the rear cabinet and secured it to there as well. And then I got another one back there securing to this stud just so it's a little more secure to the wall. I don't trust just having that one plate there and uh, there was no plywood in the budget for this. This is actually a budget install, but we're not sparing any expense in the material that we're using. We're still doing everything the way we normally do. The spiral vent, Taco ECM circulator, Kalefi pressure reducing valve. Um, I was able to find a two inch concentric vent kit in my shop that we've been sitting there for years. We're gonna finally use that. So piece by piece getting it done. Look at you, you're becoming a master of threading pipe. We'll see what happens when I get inside. The right size. Yeah, that's why you, you like to measure uh, once and cut 10 times. I measure twice. You measure twice? Uh, pop quiz. What did you do with the IFC that came with the Taco? What does an IFC do? It's a blow okay. What's the purpose of it? It's not plugged from the direction. Okay. So, uh, where well you put those in circulators, right? Yeah. When you have more than one zone. Yeah. Right? When you only have one zone, you don't need the float check, right? Yeah. But when you have more than, more than, one zone and you have one circulator that came with the boiler that doesn't have a flow check, guess what? Now you'll have that flow check. Oh, instead of getting raped by Taco Comfort Solutions when they charge you $30 for a, a little piece of plastic. $25 actually. So you learn something new every day. So next time when you put in a, circul uh, a flow check into a circulator in a one zone system or on a system with an indirect with a thermostatic mixing valve, you're not going to put it in. Ooh, you, oh, I, I threw you for a loop right there. If you have a circulator for an indirect water heater that has a thermostatic mixing valve on it, there's no harm in having reverse flow into the indirect zone, right? Not going to get too hot because it's going to get mixed when it leaves. Yeah. Oh. What about bringing colder water into the tank? Colder water to the tank? Yeah. That's reverse flow. That's the whole purpose of the check valves to stop reverse flow. Yeah, but if you don't put one in an in indirect. If you don't put one in an indirect, so whenever another circulator is on, you're going to get reverse flow in there. And it's going to get heat in there. You get more heat. Or cold water because it's pulling. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's one way of looking at it. Make sure you lick it before you stick it. Well, 17 after the 12 o'clock hour here in Arbor, New York. The system is installed. Right now it's doing a blower calibration with the front cover on. Um, we did it. <laughs> Not too shabby. What do you think, Daniel? Yeah, was the wrong orientation. Is it really? Yeah. 11.18. There it is. We are doing a blower calibration. Oh, look, I just finished that. There you go. Good stuff. Very nice. Blower calibrating. All right, ladies and gentlemen, a few minutes after one o'clock here in the afternoon on hump day, October 30th, 20. 24 we got it all in there <laughs> yes we did and now we actually have a lot more room to work with when this machine needs servicing we have our two inch concentric vent kit going outside behind the boiler is the Taco 007 ECM three speed circulator 30 psi relief valve dryer vent Oh, that's the only ugly part of this install, the dryer vent. 
looking pretty nice. Spare no expense, even got the Kalefi. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank all you guys for your time and watching the installation of this Whale McLean Ecotech 110 wall hung condensing combi. We had that very, very tight spot, but we made it happen, taking out that Lars Endurance combi boiler and water heater, non condensing. We really did a great job. And uh, if you live in the Long Island, New York City metropolitan area, and you're tired of getting bamboozled by your plumber or HVAC contractor, I want you to pick up your phone and call me at 516-348-6300. You can also save time and book online at pipedoc.net. Thanks again, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Be well, God bless, stay safe.